so guys let's say we have uh, to plot this data we have plot this data and we want the area under this plot so one way that we usually how know how to calculate the area is that using the equation and the integration but here the you can see that the data is quite variable it's going sometimes down up down so the finding the equation is quite really difficult here and in MX Excel I don't think it's possible so one thing to plot this data is using a formula and I will tell you how this formula came up this is that we take here focus here equal to we take this value y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and then we multiply it by the difference of this of the x data that is what we end up but obviously you will just ask me why this formula as you can see this is y1 this 0.4 y1 and this is y2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is the mean what we mean actually what we mean by this is that let's say this is the y1 this is the y2 and let's say we need the area under only this portion so what we can do here is that these this y and this y has literally no relation we don't know the formula so one way is to just take a mean of these y values okay let's say we take a mean point and this is just an approximation method and it works really fast and gives almost similar results so let's make a rectangle over here this rectangle what we can see here is, let's say if we move it more upwards so basically what is happening is that we are taking a mean value of this y so the area above it is almost the area that we have taken into this rectangle and now we only need to find out the area of this rectangle the area of this rectangle is the mean y that is y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and this is the mean y multiplied by this mean y is something 0.27 or something and multiply by this 1 and 10 so our area would be the mean y multiplied by the uh, delta x that is the difference in x that's why how we find it now the only thing is that in excel it is easy that because we have taken this kind of set now for the next set also it will move according to this formula for the next columns as well now one thing is to be noted that why it is coming negative it's because in the formula itself you can see it will take c42 c42 and c43 so c43 is actually zero that's why this is zero minus something that will make it negative and this is actually no point because we are not considering this whole set because above this point as we go further there is no plot actually we don't need this so we will uh, delete this now what we'll do is just sum it uh, and a very easy way to sum it is like taking all of this and seeing the sum that is 19.175 another way is to just type in sum clicking and dragging and then sum is so this is the area under the plot i hope this will this is useful for you thank you